overflows how to enter love and exit love ordinarily no one knows how to love and what is love love is born when feelings arise but feelings must be expressed certainly feelings arise only when there is the way to express thoughts are the way to express thoughts are the way to express feelings feelings are waves that arise deep within in that moment there are only waves no thoughts or anything love is a feeling ek anubhuti hai a feeling hindi word anubhuti is much more profound to express that it happened once radha asked krishna you loved with me you loved me but why did you not marry me this question is logical and krishna has to give the answer to it ek baar radha ne krishna se pucha tumne prem to mujhse kiya par vivah kyu nahi kiya ye prashna tarkik hai aur krishna ko iska uttar dena pada krishna gives the answer to the question by asked by radha you loved me why did you not marry me love is unknown yet realized truth never born never dies love arises first deep within love does not need to as you understand you understand for love you need two people love is oneness a feeling of oneness harmony and bliss within and marriage needs two marriage needs the other love may or may not arise through the institution of marriage love is inner harmony oneness the waves of feeling arising deep within which can be expressed in thoughts and through gestures radha you and i are not two when there is deep love between two they are not two they are one krishna says you are in me i am in you you are in me i am you you and i are like drop and ocean this is the ultimate state of dissolution or you can say awakening that drop and ocean are one so lover and beloved are like drop and ocean it does not matter who is drop who dissolves first if the lover dissolves the it can happen anyways both you and i are part of oneness such is the divinity of love and this is the only and real eternal form of love love is infinite love is eternal love is never born never dies feel love and then drown in the vastness of love radha you and i are not two we are one the nature of this nature of love man has not yet understood also at the moment of parting man has not learned to say goodbye your love begins one way and ends up in an ugly way this is the way we have known for love to blossom and love to die but if there is a real love it is never born never dies it is a fulfillment unto itself 
it is the fragrance of your being it is the fragrance of your harmony it is the fragrance of innerness fragrance of oneness when all the psychic centers are in harmony with one another they are flowing as one that time the waves of feelings arise and when expressed through gestures or through words or through thoughts it becomes love if you really know love or love has blossomed in you then you will know that the way something begins the same way it comes to an end as well if you have really known love or love has blossomed in you then you will know that the way something begins the same way it comes to an end everything in life including love has its time to blossom and also time to wither away everything in life including love has a time to blossom and then time to wither away one day flower blossoms and then it withers away no one laments you rejoice when love is blossoming and when it is coming to an end so many ugly scenes are created blaming one another and so many such things take place one season gives way to another no lament or any kind of wound happens however when one relationship based on so called misunderstanding of love is coming to an end which is natural the two become soul enemies each starts washing dirty linen in public one who has understood the essence of love will thank the other for sharing moments of bliss together one who has understood the essence of love will thank the other for sharing moments of bliss together thank one another that love together has given a new direction a new meaning a new fragrance created a new meaning in life love has helped in inner blossoming harmony and oneness now the time has come for us to separate march along our own separate paths this is what krishna says to radha when he was parting from vrindavan to go to mathura to continue his other responsibilities and part of life and he said from now onwards this flute i give it to you this flute will not echo will not play any music from now on flute is the fragrance is the overflow of inner harmony bliss and oneness as love they part with one another full of deep gratitude thanks and bliss none will be filled with anger hatred and complaint if you have known what love is and how to love then also you will know how to separate in love as well your separation will have a joy beauty and benediction your separation will have a joy beauty and benediction something like this happens in life as well when you know how to enter life joyfully you will also know 
how to exit life joyfully as well. You exit from life, which is death, will also be a moment of benediction. Birth is benediction in that state and death too is a benediction. Love is the fragrance of your innerness. It is inner harmony. It is oneness. It is bliss. It is the fragrance, the nectar from your being. It is the nectar from your being. Enough for now.